Hello and welcome to your week commencing the 4th of January horoscope forecast for the sun or the ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. This will give you searing insights as to what the next 12 months holds for you. From the time of order, you'll get full 12 months. So please don't think you're going to miss out on anything. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Hello Aries and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 4th of January. Well, the big news this week is that your ruler, Mars, emerges from shadow now, the long extended journey of Mars through your sign, of course, had the interlude of the retrograde itself. But the really big action was that it was going so slow, but also squaring the trio of planets in the other cardinal sign of Capricorn. So that's been creating a frustration, a tension between your desire to be a free spirit and act out what you want to do in the here and now with what's expected of you in the wider world. And of course, we know that Mars has been squaring Pluto, so that's had a massive impact on us all in terms of the latest surge of COVID cases. But the great news is that Mars doesn't just come out of shadow this week, it moves into the sign of Taurus. Now, why would that be great news for you? Well, it's the part of your horoscope that's to do with your resources, but also to do with your sense of self. And what Mars will do over the next six weeks is give you a lot of bolstering around that area. So if you have been feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit under strain through the con consequences of what we're all dealing with, this gives you a little bit more pushback. But it is true that Mars is also forging a gorgeous alliance to Venus this week. But this alliance goes across four zodiac signs because not only is Mars moving, but Venus is also moving from the sign of Sagittarius into the sign of Capricorn. And by the end of this week, we have an Earth trine between them. Now imagine Earth in relation to relationships. We're talking about sensuality here. And it's possible that you will see the results of a lot of hard work that you've been investing over a long period of time in a physical, tangible and material way, or you can be given out a very sensuous vibe when it comes to your relationship situation. So if you're single, you could draw someone to you in quite a magical way this week. Now, Mercury is also on the move this week, but not before it goes alongside Pluto. People with Mercury Pluto conjunctions, oppositions and squares in their natal horoscopes can have a very strong sense of their opinion because Mercury is how we think and it's how we uh, talk and speak and Pluto is about power. So it's possible you will have quite a tasty exchange with someone this week, perhaps in a position of influence, perhaps you're the person already in a position of influence, but there could be some kind of tussle over a point of principle or over a contract which Mercury can also control. But I think there's a good chance that as long as you're fair and, and approach things in a reasonable way, a mixture of your charm and persuasion can certainly be very helpful. What are the gotchas for this week? Well, I do think essentially it is the fact that Jupiter is squaring up with Uranus and then Mars goes on to square with Saturn. Now that is more tricky. So if you are thinking about your longer term future and you're trying to be very idealistic about or trying to find a perfect scenario for your financial situation at the moment, you could meet some kind of resistance or buffer or challenge. But I do feel that that uh, role of Mars in your second solar house is giving you a big opportunity to be, to be much more assertive. Now, it's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd like to wish you a very happy 2021. But for now, good luck and goodbye.